Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm going to show you how to return different types of side spin serves. Now, this is something that many players, especially at the beginner and intermediate standard, find quite difficult. They find it difficult to control the side spin and keep the ball on the table. It's actually easier than what you think it is. So in this video, I'm going to show you my method, which is a little bit different for dealing with side spin. And hopefully by the end of the video, you're going to have a much better idea about how to deal with these tricky side spin serves. The first step is trying to work out what type of side spin serve it is. At its most basic, you've got two types of side spin serve. You've got side spin with backspin, or you've got side spin with topspin. So how do you know if it's side spin with backspin or side spin with topspin? Now for me, the easiest way to think about it is this. If you see the bat moving sideways and down on contact, then that will be side spin with backspin. If you see the bat moving sideways and up on contact, side spin with top spin. Of course, there are lots of different act service actions that players have, but the principle is the same. Bat moving sideways and down, side spin with back spin. Bat moving sideways and up, side spin with top spin. When you've read the spin, you now have options about how you can return the different types of side spin serves. For short side spin serves with backspin, well, the easiest way to return these is simply by pushing. Now, it needs to be a positive push where you're properly brushing underneath the ball. If you do it too tentatively or you just kind of prod at the ball a little bit, the side spin from the serve will dominate your racket and shoot down. So it needs to be a positive push. But if you do a positive push, actually you'll find that you'll start to override the side spin element of the serve you know, quite easily and you'll be able to direct the ball to different parts of the table. Um, if you're trying to push it and your ball still going off the side of the table. Again, keep it really simple. I think the easiest approach to begin with is just aim for the middle of the table. If you aim your push for the middle of the table, even with the side spin element, it'll probably land somewhere, okay? You don't even need to worry about which way the ball's spinning. It will land somewhere, okay? Another option for returning short side spin serves with backspin is to do a flick. Could be a backhand flick or a forehand flick. Now the great thing about doing flick shots is that they are very positive. You're gonna get the racket speed with the flick and because you're getting the racket speed and generating some top spin, you will override the side spin part of the serve and you'll find it pretty easy to keep the ball on the table. Again, if in doubt, aim for the middle of the table and the ball will land somewhere. For long side spin serves with backspin, well actually, you could push these too. Backhand push, forehand push. Again, it needs to be a positive push to start to override the side spin element of the serve. So you're gonna need a little bit of racket speed in there to push that ball back. Um, and again, if you work on that idea of perhaps aiming it towards the middle of the table, it's gonna, it will land somewhere either side. Don't need to worry too much about which way the ball's spinning. Now, this is certainly an 
an option if you're more of a defensive player, okay? So if you like to push or chop balls, then returning these long side backspin serves in this way is entirely possible. But if you're more of an attacking player, probably the best option for you is to try to top spin these long side spin serves with backspin. Now you're going to need to brush up the back of the ball a little bit to override the backspin part of the serve, but by playing this positive topspin stroke, you'll easily start to override the side spin part of the serve, and you should be able to find that you can direct the ball to different parts of the table. Again, if in doubt, you know, and you're struggling still to keep the ball on the table, just aim for the middle, it will probably land somewhere. So more attacking player, try to top spin these long side spin serves with backspin. If it's a short side spin serve with topspin, do you know what? Just treat these as though they're a topspin serve. So your best options here are either to drive the ball or you can topspin the ball, you need to turn your bat angle and brush over the top of the ball. These serves can be a little bit deceptive because the ball looks like it's short, but because of the topspin element of the serve, they actually kick quite a bit. So if you end up stepping into the table too much to get close to the ball, all of a sudden they kind of jump up on you. So my best tip is if it's short side spin with topspin, just stay where you are because the ball is going to kick towards you. And then you can play your drive or your topspin. And again, you should have no problem overriding the side spin part of the serve. Common theme of this video, if in doubt, just aim for the middle of the table. For long side spin serves with top spin, again, you should look to either drive or top spin. They're your best options here. When it's long side spin with top spin, these serves are usually quite fast. So you don't actually need to take a big swing at the ball, okay? I think the easiest way to return these serves is just to take short, positive drives, top spins, and work with the speed on the serve. By just playing these most controlled strokes, the ball will go back fast and put the other player under pressure. And again, you'll override the side spin part of the serve because you're playing a positive drive, positive top spin stroke. Um, the other thing to think about is if you are playing someone and they're doing a lot of these types of serves, they're doing a lot of long side spin with top spin serves, do you know what? Just take half a step back further from the table, give yourself a little bit more space, a little bit more time to react to these serves. I keep talking about using positive strokes, whether that's positive pushes, positive drives, positive topspins. Now this is essential. If you try to return side spin serves, a little bit too tentatively, where you just kind of prod at the ball, the side spin on the serve will make the ball shoot off your bat and that's when you will lose control. So you might be trying to push or drive, but if it's too soft, you're not going to control the side spin part of the serve. So this prodding, you know what, it just doesn't work. You have to play a stroke. It has to be something more positive. If you really struggle to return side spin serves, I think the best approach to begin with is just to keep it really simple. Put all of your energy into watching the server and seeing if you can read whether it is side spin with back spin or side spin with top spin. Now, once you start to read the spin on the serve, just keep your options simple. If it's side spin with back spin, just push those balls. If it's side spin with top spin, then just play a drive shot. 
you will find that just with either pushing or driving, you should be able to return most of the size bin serves that you face. When this starts to become easy, when you feel like you can return most side spin serves with either a push or a drive, then I think you, know, you can start adding in more advanced options. You can start flicking the ball more or top spinning the ball more. And then I think when you're playing these very positive attacking strokes, then you really do start to not only control the side spin, but also dominate the side spin. Then you'll be wondering, you know, what was I ever worried about? This is easy. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope I gave you some good tips there. Um, if you did find it useful, then please subscribe to my channel um, or go and visit my website. I've got lots more table tennis tips there. Go to www.tabletenniscoach.me.uk. I've got more videos coming soon, so I'll see you then. Bye bye.